This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Here at the TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, many people tune in to watch this great event. They think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there, but it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything, birdie opportunities, holes that are fraught by water, bunkering that's being changed. All in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people people that visit this during the tournament week. So the action is underway. And we'll take you out now to our featured golfer here at number one. Warm-ups are done. First two rounds in the book. And Frank, this is where careers are made on the weekends at these kinds of championships. This is also what you hope for, too, in professional golf. You know you've got your good stuff. We've seen that through the first two days. Put yourself in a great position. Just 36 holes to go. You're looking at that first hole and what the weekend might unfold. That's the beauty of this game. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. This has really been a challenge all day long with these winds coming from different directions, changing speeds. It's gone from 15 upwards to 25 miles per hour. Really a test for the players. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, a settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, You've got to really knuckle down there. Make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. That is a solid par putt right there. Par four, second hole. A little bit longer than the first. This one at 442 yards. Yeah, they've added a new tee, changed the bunkering down. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Long, just met longer. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. With these downhill shots, really the key is always balance, and maybe you want to take a little bit of a wider setup, and then club selection obviously is important. You maybe take a little less club uh, and just try not to overswing. Should be safely on deck. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Not this time. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Continues to hold that sizable lead on the rest of the field. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway bunkers down the left, now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hold if you can't make this par five and two in a brand new green that has been completely changed. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. We'll need to catch this solid 190 yards away. 
Frank, even at major championships, a good crowd on a single day might be 25 to 30,000. Consider this for just a moment. At the TPC Scottsdale in 2013, round number three on Saturday, almost 180,000 fans jammed into that ballpark. It's hard to imagine twice, that's twice the gate of the Super Bowl on a golf course. Now, obviously some of it's hidden because of the size of the acreage, but golf just doesn't get that type of crowds anywhere else in the world, but it works at TPC Scottsdale. They have a crowd that keeps going back. They have the bird's nest, for example, that goes there. The parties that ring around there. It's an atmosphere that golf never gets anywhere else, but it really works there. The players feel it too, they breathe it. And this is one week of the year, just one week, where they do feel like superstars. It's a mix of soft spikes and stiletto heels. There's nothing quite like the TPC Scottsdale. Oh, dude, that, that's an eagle. Frank, what kind of shot is required here at the par three fourth? A little drop shot par three down the hill in today's standards because it's under 200 yards. Series of three tee boxes, so plenty to choose from there. The entry into the green is well protected now by the two bunkers, one in the center and one on the right front of this green. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now to the fifth hole and a challenging par four. Slightly longer this year. Played off a new tee at the back and there used to be two bunkers down the right side. They've now been uh, well, put together to form one and in the perfect position that really make you uh, think about your tee shot. It takes a very big drive to try and carry that bunker on the right. It's going to be at least 315 plus yards to get past that. Green itself still tilts a little left to right and back towards the player. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Just a bit offline here, Frank, but not too bad. You don't know if it's the wind or just the lie there. Should be okay. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. He's made it. Frank, this is a demanding driving hole, the par four fifth. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one, and it's in the perfect position to make you think about your tee shot. Really, you have to be left of that. The new tee's added a little bit of yardage to it. The green still looks the same as what it once was. Tilts slightly from left to right. But you can see why a draw, a draw is the preferred shot at TPC Scottsdale. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. Yardage book says 140, second shot. Throwing darts just inside of five feet. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. On to the par three seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. Uh, a high flying shot in here that carries that front edge and you'll find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive and that green starts to widen. 
That will be a great look at birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Great, too. Beautiful. Frank, the par four eighth. This is a good hole. It is. Uh, a dog leg to the left forces the player to go at the right, and uh, this will play every inch of its yardage, which is over 470 yards. Green's still pretty much the same with that false front, um, unless there's a uh, flag position in the front. You're really going to have to fly at least 20 yards or so into that green, otherwise that ball is going to run towards the front. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. He's putting for birdie now. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Finishing out the front side now at the ninth. And Frank, what do you think of this par four? Nice way to finish the front nine, Rich. Very thin green uh, protected by that little splash bunker in the front. Um, iron players get a real advantage here. One bunker down the right side to be aware of off the tee, though. And I doubt anybody could carry that. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. and getting ready for the putt. doubt about that one. That was struck with confidence. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. They'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. And this attempt will be from about 130 yards. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Trying to make yet another birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off-center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dogleg. And uh, you mentioned the water. It always comes into play. And there are zero fairway bunkers. You don't need them here at 11 because, really, it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway, 
then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the barrel outside, and your problems are just starting. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. This would be nice. A birdie on the card. See if he can make it. Great shot. Get the birdie. Twelfth hole now, looking at 192 yards, par three. Won't quite play that distance because that tee shot uh, is, is considerably downhill. But you really have to be cognizant of the wind if it's coming off the left because it easily brings that water into play down the right should that tee shot just start moving with the wind. And it makes the green in regulation. Settles in over the putt. Good putt. Par 5, 13th. Chance for birdie or maybe even eagle if you're bold and brave enough, but also, Frank, chance for disaster here? Well, there is water very much in play down the right side. There's a bunker down the left, too. If you finish up in that, there's no way you're going for this par five and two. Then it becomes a little bit of a zigzag mission. Um, the second shot either has to be hit down the right side, just skirting that bunker in the front, or it has to be all carry. What a tremendous display of power and precision. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish, but, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. That was not a very good read right there. It's no snack, though. Frank, this is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. Par 4, 14th, Frank. It seems as though you'd be pretty happy with a par here. You would, uh, even though the putting surface has gone for a little extra. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Strong wind here early in the round. That ball's run out certainly over 300 yards, Frank. Call it about 310. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday. And he has a good chance to make another one today. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday.
Beautifully done. That's a birdie. All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Well, you can rack up five, six, seven. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. This for birdie. Not a problem from there, right in the middle. Now at the par 5 15th, and Frank, there is plenty to catch your eye. There's also quite a bit to catch your ear. You can hear the roars at the par 3 16th. So how do you focus on the task at hand? Great question, Rich. You know, you, you realize you're about to enter the stadium part of the golf course. But this is the last par five that you're going to play. We've seen eagles here over the years. We've seen many a player hit it in the water off the tee or water short of the green. Certainly one of the tougher tee shots coming in. No bunkers here to worry about just that huge lake to the left. Find the fairway. You might just find the green. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, 16 was fun. 17 is always exciting here at TPC Scottsdale. You've got to be careful because uh, that water that sort of goes around the left side of the green, if that ball's coming in with a little bit of hook, it's just going to keep going left. There's the one bunker you really have to focus on. That's the one in the middle of the fairway. 280 will carry that. Chances are the ball can run onto the green. It takes a brave man really to try and fly this ball all the way there. It's not really needed because there's always another 10 or 15 yards of run. Factor that in. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. That would have been a real bonus had it dropped, but as it is, good putt. For 18th and Frankie, if you are trying to win the tournament out here at TPC Scottsdale, this is all you want down the stretch. It is. There's a short bunker there, obviously, for the recreational player to respect. Three bunkers down the right side protect it, and that new bunkering um, situation down the left there to stop the attack of a Bubba Watson or a JB Holmes. Now, this tee shot is going to have to be respected, and the green, too, is anything other than flat. Second shot. Good look at the green. Get down. Lay down. 
Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. He has a 12-footer here. Ooh, that hurts. Frank, you hate to miss it from that distance. Uh, more than a setback there. Getting set now over the putt. In for par. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion uh, that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. Naruto, over and out.